Hi everyone. Hi. How y'all doing? So today we got a couple of questions that what? What we're gonna answer to? No. What? It's the my first time tag. I'm trying to be the talkative today. So the talkative? Know? Yeah. So allow me. All right. So babe, tell them how we've been doing so far. Well, the last time you saw us, we were in front of Lincoln Center. We right. had just came to see, we just finished seeing Straight Outta Compton. Go see that movie, it's dope. Um, and that was actually our last time, I would say being alone. Right. <laughs> Some situations has occurred in our life where our living situation has changed. Right. And let's just say, um, we will officially have a new address shortly and yeah. i'm excited yeah i'm excited because i think september is like the month of like new things and exciting things so um i have been having newborn baby dreams all summer and then at the end of summer circumstances happen where we need to find a new place so i think it meant something right no makeup no makeup no hair no makeup no hat just dreads give me all this rawness child we're going raw okay so today so we're gonna do the my first time tag tag my first so we're gonna we're gonna answer every question i'm gonna ask the question and we both answer right okay so babe what was your first tweet i don't remember i don't remember but i know it had to do with sneakers because i had a project from school that I had to, you know, use Twitter, use Instagram, use a whole website thing. So I remember it was about a sneaker project. That's about it. That's cool. First YouTube video. My first YouTube video, I think it was like a um, hair review or something. Yeah. Or probably other, oh, I'm lying. I was probably living in Baltimore and I put up a video of me singing Nicki Minaj. I think that's a, like one of my first videos, I think. When you was at your ex's job? All of that. Be specific. I don't care about that bitch now. Get raw, right? Get raw, raw. Today's raw day, man. We can do them raw. When you was like, X is job. Yes. When she was doing doubles and triples and shit. Right? <laughs> um, my first YouTube video was about my sneaker connect collection. I think it should still be on YouTube. It's Rita Ree 6969. Got a couple of sneaker sneaker videos over there. I don't do sneaker videos no more. Cause she I'm lame. grown now. I'm wearing my jellies and shit. No Jordans and shit no more, so. Who it. did that though? You didn't, you didn't make did me that grow though? up. I, I grew. You just, you just, you just added a little, you know, a little sugar to the tea. That's, that's what you did. You did. And that sugar has been, it's been, it's been in the tea for a minute. I boiled the water. <laughs> I put the tea bag in the cup. I stirred it. She heated up. She uh, drunk it. Shut up. First person you you subscribe to to on YouTube Who was the first probably person? Latoya. I don't remember. That was years ago. I really don't remember. First Facebook profile picture. How am I supposed to remember a profile picture? Profile pictures change every five minutes. I'm pretty sure. I don't know what it was. Oh, probably. Uh, well, it was like the, it was like the first picture I ever took like with a camera, with the with the um, camera phone and uploaded it to. Um. MySpace. Or Sconex. Found... Sconex used to be the. What is Sconex? Yeah, Sconex so... used to be where Facebook is I'm now. I'm so not from here. I don't even know what that is. It's like Facebook and MySpace and stuff. Yeah, but it was the first one. Sconex was the first one. Do you still talk to your first love? No, she cut them all up. I'm going to answer this question for you. She don't talk to no, none of her exes. They all doing their thing somewhere. It's not that, like I'm insecure or anything, but she don't need that. She got me. I'm, look, at, look at all this African royalty you know what does she need she don't need that do i still talk to my first love i don't need that i don't even remember the bitch name so that's done i answer both questions for both of us um was it what was the first alcoholic drink i remember mine was smell of ice i had it probably mine too <laughs> i had it with my sister my sister was in ghana right now i took her to this spot um and it's not Spintex Road. I forgot the name of the place we used to live in Africa and they had opened a new bar and we, we had alcohol for the first time. I can't believe I made my baby sister 
who was like nine years old try alcohol and she, she liked them we were all you know we're tipsy we weren't drunk but you know it, it was nice I, i'll never nice forget thing. yeah what was your first job my first job was um i got my working papers at 15. in new york you can get like i think it's yellow papers and then green papers or something like that or yellow then blue but um you can get papers when you're 15 and then again when you're 16. You can start working, right? Right. So I worked at my first job. I worked at a um, hospital in Roosevelt Island in New York. I think that's in Queens. And um, I was organizing the pills in the pharmacy. At my first job. My first job was in an eye clinic, which uh, my real father owns in Ghana. It's called Eye Link. Um, there was some money problems going on, so he it, it was like I was a spy. There's only one person who knew I was his daughter, so I was just like trying to see how everybody works like and you know, report back to him. They didn't really know I was his daughter, then later I finally came out, but they were all oh, okay. They wasn't doing anything funny. It was just, you know, the main bosses ahead of everybody who was in the hospital who were doing some grimy shit with the money, but my first job was in an eye clinic, and it was amazing. The pay was good, but you know, I didn't have no responsibility, so that was just like pocket money. That's about it. What was your first car? don't drive my first car i never had a first car i just drove all my parents cars so it went from range to a ford to a lexus whatever i never owned a car i just drove all my parents cars what was the first person who was the first person to text you today it was about a real it was a realtor uh, right? it was a realtor <laughs> a realtor texted me actually this morning took a firm appointment. Um, nobody texted me today. I was expecting someone to text me today, but they ain't text, so I'm pretty mad. Who was you expecting to text huh? <laughs> My dad. <laughs> yeah, I was expecting my dad to text me today. Um, who is the first person you thought of this morning? Her. She wakes me up. I think about her. When I wake up, when I go to bed, I work on my lunch break, when I'm on the toilet seat, when she's at work, when I'm out outside shooting, it's, it's her 24-7. How about you? How about you, baby? Answer the question, man. You too. <laughs> I think about you all the time. Really? Yeah. Who was your my first baby. grade teacher? I don't remember. My first grade teacher? This is a horrible tag. Oh I don't remember. Oh my God, I don't remember. First. That's crazy. I do remember. Her name was Miss... Comfort. That's her name. Miss Comfort from Soul Clinic International School in Ghana on uh, East Continents. That's her name. Miss Comfort. I hope she's... East I hope, Continents. I hope she's alive. Where did you go? You're so cute, babe. Where did you go on your first ride on an airplane? Miami? Florida? No. I've been to Miami. Um, Orlando? Disney World. Yeah, that's what I mean. Oh, uh, Atlanta. Really? Uh, Atlanta on Disney World. Di I don't remember. My first ride on an airplane that's was bad. to... I don't remember a lot of things. It that was to the UK. It was to the UK. It was in London, Middlesex, England, North London. Uh, that was my first time. Who was your first best friend and do you still talk? My first best friend was my first best friend I can remember was a girl in junior high school not junior, before junior high school and her name was Finesse I was I was I think I was best friend with her for like one year and um I don't remember anybody before like my elementary because I I don't know like I kind of stopped talking to them after a while but my first best friend I can remember like I remember coining my best friend was um Finesse my first best friend, they, I had, I had, I had a group of friends, but they all, they're both in London right now. That's Salom and a baby. Um, yeah, I still talk to them once in the blue because of the, the time zones. It's not really bad. It's only four hours ahead of time, so it's like we catch on on like WhatsApp, Viper, or you have all these apps that you can talk to people in different countries for free. So I, I use it to talk to them. Um, what was your first sleepover? I used to, you mean like, your first, first like probably my cousins. Your cousin's house or something like yeah, that? Yeah, because we would, it was, it's so many of my cousins. Mom's side and my dad's side, so. 
probably probably was that. Any other sleepovers I had with women after that was um intimate. Uh, first sleepover was my, my, one of my mom's friends. Uh, her name was Efe, and I used to sleep in Efe's house like almost, almost every weekend. And her dad was a candidate to be the president of Ghana, so like we had like oh, that's sevens. Story. We had we had right? we had everything. So you know that's about it. Oh, you ignoring me? What what story? Nah nah nah. That's not her. That's not nah. This is a different. This nah. That's that's a whole different thing. What was the first thing you did in the, you did this morning? She grabbed my ass. That was the first thing she did this morning. The first thing I did this morning was to move over. Okay. Let me just say. Let me say something though. Let me, let me say something. When you wake up, right? You wake up. So you like this. You wake up. You turn around, and then it's like you see you see like dreads, and then you see like a back, and then you see this divot. Like a mountain, and then you're like, where? Right, <laughs> and then you just want to be like all over the mountain. You want to climb the mountain. So I actually woke up, saw it, like I see it every morning, and I just, saw, I grab it, I grab it, I can't help it. And she's always like, mm, mm, mm. But it's like, what the fuck do you want me to do? The first thing I did this morning was to take her hand off my butt. But let's not, okay, so let's be honest. When, when you wake up, you don't even open your eyes. You you this is what she did when she when she woke up. Her eyes were still closed, but all I felt was her hand doing this. <laughs> I this, to is my wife every every this is every morning. This is every morning. She just wakes up and she her hand, you feel her hand, she's looking for my some type of body part, usually my private part. <laughs> and just to feel it, like just not to be, you know, just to just to just be on it, just to be in it. Nasty. I like that though. It makes me think she's thinking about me soon as she wake up. What was the first concert you ever went to? Scream tour. I know it was some concert. Bow Wow B2K and stuff. I think it was Joe when Joe came to Ghana. Yeah, I think that was my first concert. First broken bone. I broke my arm. Really? I broke my arm. I was, I put, you know, the, when kids used to have the little plastic colored chairs. I had a plastic colored chair that I used to play with all the time. I put it on my bed. This is when I lived in Brownsville, in Brooklyn. I put it on my bed, and then I started to jump on my bed in the chair. <laughs> on the bed. So I put the chair on the bed and started jumping on the chair. It fell over, broke my arm, I had a cast. Aww. I couldn't believe it. I was broken bone well. I think it was my leg. I was, I was playing basketball with the guys, and I was going for a layup and one of the guys blocked me. When he blocked me, I fell on my hip and I was walking on the, uh, how you call those? Was it crutches? Crutches? Yeah. Crutches. Uh, yeah, crutches. I was walking on crutches for like two weeks. That was about it. Humble oh, beans. First piercing? You ain't got none. My first piercing was my oh. ears, of course. And then yeah, after nose. that, I got my, um. I forgot you had a nose. No, babe, not a nose. I got my ears pierced first, of course. You had this. Oh, right, right, my inside. But I had my inside, that was last. I got my piercing here. I thought you meant nose like it. I got my piercing here, and then I got my um, belly, button. belly button pierced. And then I got this pierced. Oh, it was here. I got one of my tattoos and my lip pierced at the same time. I think I turned 18, so I was doing everything. So I got my ears pierced first, and then I got my belly, and then I got my thing. But this didn't last long. And then um, I got my septum. Mm -hmm. uh, I only got this. Snake eyes. That's all now, I got. Now let me, let me, let me. Oh, and I had the, the, the ball. Top. Yeah, I took it off because I used to wear Dre beats a lot. And you know, I always used to hurt. So I just took it off. Like, fuck this shit. I just took it off. You had another one, Booby? No. It was this ball. What you had right here? Oh, I had that. Yeah. I had that. Yeah, I took it off because I started working. Working. But she had that when I met her. I thought that was so cute. I didn't, I would never, because she don't like somebody that would get tattoos and, and piercings. She don't no have tattoos. tattoos. But I just didn't think she would have a piercing. I, thought, I always thought that was sexy. And then with the, t the snake eyes, because them snake eyes. They do some tricks, child. Definitely the eyes of a snake. Best country you've ever gone to. <laughs> Woo. First country you've ever gone to here. I ain't never been nowhere. Best country I've ever All been right. to. Alright. 
was UK. That's it. Miss Traveler over here. First movie you remember seeing? First movie I remember seeing. It had to be probably an Wizard movie. of Oz of Annie or or something like old school classic like that. Crooklyn uh, or something. The first movie you've ever seen, like, ever in your life? Yeah. That's crazy. Nobody remembers that stuff. I don't either. Okay, what else? When was your first detention? My first detention? Fighting. I never had one. I was a good girl. I'm, I was fighting all the time. When you grew up in Brooklyn, you kind of got to fight. You have no choice. Who was your first roommate? My first roommate? Oh, your exes. Yeah, because I never had a, I never lived with anybody else except for the people I was living, I was with. I had a roommate, she's still in the Bronx or whatever. Yeah, she was cool, Daniela. That's my first roommate. Daniela. If you had one wish, what would it be? To be with you, be happy. Oh, one wish? To be happy. One wish? If I have one wish, it's just to be happy the rest of my life. Yeah, to be happy. Just have everything that I want. Uh, what was the first sport you were ever involved in? Track. Basketball. And step. And soccer. I will beat you. What was the first thing you... What, what is the first thing you do when you get home? I take off my clothes. Immediately. She's the only person... <laughs> me, like, when I come in, I, got, I probably have to, like, change the temperature in the house with the AC on or pick up um, our puppy doo-doo or something. It's like, it got to be something I got to do. She comes in and don't nothing happen until... She and her drawers. Yep. Last question. Uh, when was your first kiss? Ever? Mm -hmm. A little boy. Ew. I was like 10 or 9 years old in Brooklyn. 9 or 10 years old, I'm sure. My first kiss is when I came out of my mother's womb and she kissed my mouth. That's all I can remember. Yeah, Everything babe. else is irrelevant. Yeah. <gasps> Even my kisses? No, nah, no, nah, not right you now. You ain't shit. I'm just saying back then. Right now you are you are you are very relevant. I kissed you. I know. That's so, our my first time tag. And we didn't like know it. much about our first time, clearly. <laughs> we know. We don't know much about our first time. I don't know much about your first time. You know much about my first time. I'm so ready to move out of New York. I think I gotta share that with y'all because I'm so ready to move out of New York. I'm so ready. I'm so ready to move out of New York and be married and have a baby. It's a baby? Who ready? Me. I ain't ready. I'm just ready. I think my biological clock is like. I'm 27. Like. All right. We're gonna adopt. Who adapted? Me. Adopting a baby from Africa. It's gonna be an, the new Angelina and Brad. Don't get me wrong though, like ain't nobody have to do all that because I got I got a career. Okay? Like let's not get crazy. But I think my biological clock be like Hey. 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 Okay. That's it. Reporting live from the motherland, Ghana. Nah, Shout baby, out to not all my dead. Ghanaians following us. All my West Africans, all my Africans. Shout out to y'all. All, all your Africans boop, boop. here doing your thing. Keep doing your thing. We came and here for a reason. And shout out to the reason. West Indians, Labor Day Parade around the corner. Came here for a reason. Keep doing your thing. Grind. Get what you want to get. Be happy. Spoil yourself. And be successful. And don't they know we're Americans, so spend your money. That's right, because we know about that African oil. We be on that money. On that money. <laughs> Jokes, Yo, people. They your own people, I'm telling you. This one, she's a headache, but she comes with a lot of good, trust me. Mm. How old is this? Who did this? I pay for that. I pay for the nails. I pay for everything. I pay for the ring. I pay for everything, child. So... Live life, stay blessed. And be spoiled, ladies. Be spoiled. Don't be no fucking spoiled. Get your own be money. Be spoiled. Oh. Get your own money. Who 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 don't get their own money though? Oh, because she gave me some couple of change this month. <laughs> you always try and play me. Let me let me just tell let me tell people. Let me tell people a little bit. 
right? Let me tell you a little bit. She has more money than me. Like, no, no, this, no, no, this, no, don't run that now. Don't run that now. Let me just tell y'all. I am a person who don't speak of her finances much. But I have gotten comments about what do heaven do? What do heaven do? Heaven does not clock in and clock out. Okay, that's what heaven don't do. But heaven is not a gold digger. Heaven is not lazy. Shut up. And heaven is not a moocher. Okay? So if my baby treats me to go get my hair and nails done, it's because she wants to. You know what? I'm not, I, this is why I don't, I don't have to, to be honest, I don't really have to explain anything, but I just feel like, I feel like a few people has asked, what do heaven do? And I'm like, why are they worried about, I do YouTube. That's what heaven do, I do YouTube. How about that? That's your answer. Why y'all clocking my... I think I think people want me to say that I don't work and you pay for everything. Should we say that? Let's say that. Say what you want. They could think what they want. It's none of their fucking business. Do you pay for everything, babe? Hell, I don't know. Why? Because you make money every day. I don't. I make money on a weekly basis. She got money every day. I'm always going through her purse to get money for ice coffee. Every goddamn shit. morning. I'm I'm broke, man. I'm broke. I ain't, I ain't got nothing. I'm we, broke. We broke, baby. We broke. We broke. We broke. <laughs> Speaking of broke, my baby birthday in a couple of months. Oh snap! My birthday is exactly two months. Ooh, 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 we can't wait. Well, I can't wait to show you her. Really? Yeah. You ain't no really like you. Yo, you so fake. You know exactly oh. how. <laughs> my baby don't ask for much. You know, my baby don't ask for much. So, I always feel like I got to, like, OD, like, Valentine's. All I ask for is 800 pair of Giuseppe's and $200 of Balmain cheese. Oh, shit. Exactly. <laughs> she asks for shit that I be like, really, babe? That much on that? But she don't ask for much. Everything she want, I kind of got to give it to her. Look at the dude in the window. Straight ahead. People just be staring at us because oh, we this we this uh all right. Bye, y'all. She gotta go to work, and I gotta work tonight. Oh, I don't I don't work. I forgot. My bad. Bye, y'all. See ya. Deuces. Oh wait. What? Okay.